hello everyone so in this video i'll be showing you how to create nested routes in react router version 6 so what i mean by nested route is that we usually have like a parent route for example here admin here is the parent and then these routes right here the summary products orders all this will now be nested inside the admin route okay and uh, we actually like need this because we need to have this um, mini nav right here while this one is our main nav okay and uh, if you are not aware this is a continuation of my ongoing online shop series uh, here on youtube which started as a simple uh, complete shopping cart which we created using react and redux toolkit but recently i have been expanding this by adding authentication also by adding stripe payment and then the next thing that i'm going to show you is how to add uh, products as an admin okay so initially our products were hard coded but now we'll be able to have this products route and we'll also be able to create another mini route inside our products called create and then we'll have this form where we can actually like uh, choose an image we can be able to do image upload using react node.js and also we'll be using a platform called cloudinary and we can be able to select a product for example galaxy s here and we have a preview of the product there we select the brand samsung we give it a name uh, which is obviously galaxy s and then we give it a price uh, I'll, I'll just do a thousand dollars there and a short description maybe it's six inch display and once we click on submit these will be submitted to our backend and it will process that and we should get a pop-up here that the product was created uh, i don't know why it's taking so long okay product created so what i should have done is show a spinner uh, when submitting which i'll do when we get to this uh, episode of like creating the product and then now uh, that product is created therefore when we come to online shop we can be able to see it here and the image is not loaded but it's loading so you can see we can now be able to create products and that will be saved in uh, cloudinary so right here if i hit refresh on our online shop we should be able to see that image right there at our online shop uh, folder in cloudinary and then uh, at our database if we like refresh we'll also be able to see products a collection uh, right there so this is like the next step so if you're interested uh, make sure you uh, follow along and uh, yeah this is interesting i'll show you how to do image upload and uh, also create admin dashboard but now the focus of this episode will only be on our nested routes and let's uh, just dive right in and yeah let me show you how you can like add the nested routes for products and summary in our dashboard so the first thing is to register the routes in app.js and now this is in version 6 so if you are just like checking this out you haven't been following along you should make sure that you update react router down here to version 6 then you import browser router route and routes and this is how you simply register the routes so you have the browser router and we have routes in here and we can register a single route like this now let's register a route for the dashboard or for the admin so now right here i can duplicate that and i'll say admin here or you can say dashboard or admin dashboard whatever you want to call it and then i'll bring in the dashboard component right here and now let me save this and when i come to our app here when i visit stroke dashboard we should be able to load our dashboard actually uh, and it's not so something must be wrong uh, actually it's not dashboard but admin so when we load admin we should be able to like get that dashboard component so admin maybe you might want to call them the same name so for consistency but in this case we are getting this dashboard component but how do we like nest the links in here and load the different uh, components like products so what we should do to register those routes we should remove these uh, closing and we should include it like this we should close it like this and now in here 
we can register the nested routes so right here i'll register the product so what i should do actually i can just copy one of these and i'll paste it here and the path should not include that slash if you are nesting the route here you should not include the slash it should be just like that and then for the elements here now we can include our products right here so i'll say products this one uh, we should include products not login and uh, we should somehow bring in these products let me try to make use of it like this uh, why am i not getting the suggestion to import it or is it already imported let me import it manually here so we will bring in products from the admin uh, folder so products and then we wrote that component here and yeah cool so so far so good but now we need to include a link at our dashboard and also at our nav bar to load this dashboard so the first thing i'll do is to go to the nav bar component so at the nav bar when we are logged in is when we want to show a link to the uh, admin dashboard so we already had this log out but actually i'll just change this one to be just a div okay and also in here i'll add another div and for this div is where i will include a link so i'll say link to and we will link to our admin like that and then right here I can say admin so we should have a parent element for this admin and the logout and i'll style this element using styled components so right here i'll have uh, links and i wrap everything with these links down here and then um, now these links i'll include the styles down here and actually i'll copy the styles from github i don't want to keep typing this so i'll paste this styled component right here it should look like this the color is white display flex and then uh, the different styles okay and now when i save this and go to our browser you'll see that we now have admin here and when we are at online shop we click admin we get our dashboard pretty nice but now uh, the thing is uh, in the next episode i'll show you um how to make sure that only an admin can see the link okay so if you are a normal user you won't be able to see the link for now this is good enough okay and that is all i'll do at the nav bar now i need to include the nested links at our dashboard and i'll style them using styled components and uh, i'll get the styles from github as well so i won't be focusing too much on the styling so down here i'll paste these styles and to begin with we have this styled dashboard and this styled dashboard um, should like wrap everything right here so i'll say styled dashboard here and we can do some stuff in here now now the first thing that i'll include is this side nav you can check out the styles they are right here uh, you can pause and now right here i'll just include that side nav right here and then i'll include a h3 with quick links and then after that uh, in here we can have the different links now i'll make use of the nav link so we have a component from react router dome called nav link you can as well just use link but i'll use navlink because it can allow us to determine which uh, route is currently active so for now uh, i'll just say let's ring this to admin so this will be stroke admin and then stroke uh, summary like that and in here we can say summary and we didn't actually like register this particular route so let's register that uh, for the summary so right here i'll just duplicate that and i'll bring in summary here and this should load the summary 
and then another thing is that um, I should import it. I don't know why they are not being suggested, but let's uh, manually import that like that. Okay, so I'll save and then now uh, let's see if we get the link. So we have styled styled. They are not defined inside our dashboard. So let's bring in uh, styled. So I'll import styled from styled components and then let's see our uh, styled is not defined i have actually imported it so yeah so now look this is our, our admin dashboard and uh, the styling is because of our styled components down here so you can like uh, check the styles copy them the way you want and now when i click on summary okay it should like give us the summary right here okay uh but we can't see it so first of all we need to style the content so we have content here and that should come after our side nav so after this one let's include the content and inside this content we should include a component from our react router dome called outlet so right here we should bring in outlet okay so outlet so this is like um, a requirement by react router dome for it to display the nested uh, content for the routes so outlet so this content is just for the styles so this is the styles right here we just like include margin left for 200 px and that will cover the width of this one so that we can actually see the content so i'll go ahead and save and check so now look we have summary right there pretty nice and then let's uh, go ahead and uh, i can include another nav link right here so maybe i should duplicate this one and now we can have one for the products so i'll say products and now instead of summary here i say products like that i save and now when i come here you'll see we have products when i click on products then we are able to load the products component which is nested so these are now nested routes and admin here is loading the admin and by default we can take it to the summary as well so when we go to admin we go directly to the summary where you can like show the summary of your dashboard okay so at the nav bar uh, where we have our how is it this one we can as well like just link to stroke uh, uh, summary right here so stroke admin stroke summary so now when we click admin we just like go directly to the summary and you can see the summary of everything and then you can also like go to the products where you can like do everything there now uh, another thing is for the active links so let me show you how to add active links when we click a link uh, we like know it's active so we can include a class name at these nav links okay so i can come here and i'll say class name to be right here we can like load an arrow function like this and uh, whatever we will return right here is a class name and we can destructure is active plop so this is provided by react uh, router dome so we, we don't have to like worry about it but it is either true or false so if this nav link is active then uh, whichever class name that we want to show is that link is active else whichever class name that we want to show is that link is inactive and we can like style these now uh, individually and we have all the styles in app.css that are using class names so i'll make use of the same to style them okay so now um i can just go before i don't know before mobile responsiveness i can include them here and whatever i'll say is uh, admin here and uh, the first one is link active so if a link is active then we will include this color and then 
if link is not active uh, we just want to show a dark link so i'll save and let's see if it works and all we have done is that we have conditionally displayed a class name for this summary also we should do the same for all the links so we can like copy that and paste it to the other one i'll save and let's see so now look this is blue because we are in products and when i click on summary now summary is blue because we are in um, summary now another thing is that you can include another nested route inside the product so in app.js i'll come right here and i'll include another nested route so it's a similar thing so route and now in here i'll duplicate i'll actually like copy one of this and paste it here and include a tab to nest it and now right here i can say uh, create like we create a product so i can say create product and now the element that would go right here is uh, our create product component which we don't have so i'll come to admin i'll add a new file and i'll call it create product uh, dot jsx now uh, right here now we can be able to bring in our create uh, product component and i'll go ahead and save so now this create product is nested inside our products so at our products where is that particular component this one we can be able to like now load that create product component from here so remember in products you can like manage products you can have a table where you are managing the products and also you can have a form where you are adding the products so that is why i created like a mini route for that so let's fill this in so it's a similar drill we need to bring in uh, several stuff so right here um let me nest everything in uh, these fragments but the thing is i can include a button right here and i can say create okay and then right here we will have an on click event which when we click it takes us to that particular uh link or component now for that we'll be making use of the use navigate hook and also the outlet so right here i'll import outlet and this will come from react router dom and also i'll make use of the use navigate hook so use navigate and now in here i can say const navigate will be equal to use navigate so remember in uh, the previous version that is version 5 there was use history now we make use of use navigate instead of use history and now right here we can have an on click event and for this on click event once we click it uh, whatever we will run is navigate and we invoke this and we pass the path so we'll navigate to admin uh, stroke products and then uh, stroke create a hyphen product so that should take us to that uh, nested create product component but we should also include the outlet so if we don't include the outlet nothing will work so right here i can also include the outlet so i'll save and this is now the syntax we just have a button with use navigate that is like when you click it's navigating to that and we have the outlet there let's test this one out so now we are at products here this is active but when we click on create it's now loading our create product component pretty nice so yeah that is all i wanted to show you in this particular video how to create these nested routes and now in the next video uh whatever we will do we'll mostly work on the back end and a bit of the front end and on the back end whatever we will do is that we will create uh, some middlewares for verifying a user that the user is an admin and also yeah we will add the admin property to the user 
and include that property to the uh, JWT token so that we can identify that the user is an admin from the front end. So I'll see you in the next one.